Hey guys, Jay Schmiller one here, and welcome back to another video. As you saw by the title, it is finally here, and I have with me the GoPro Hero 5 Black. And I'm going to be doing an in-depth review of over it today. Um, so let's just dive right into it. Oh my gosh, what are you doing in here? I didn't scare you. Izzy, what are you doing in here? You are crazy. Okay, so the first category that I'm going to be going over is audio. What you're hearing right now is being shot on my iPad Mini. And what you're hearing now is being shot on the GoPro Hero 5. Okay, and please disregard the uh, visual um, appearance. Um, because the GoPro is shooting at 1080p 30. And the iPad is also shooting at 1080p 30 but they're a little bit different so disregard that but going back to audio I'm gonna give audio a 7 out of 10 on audio wise the audio is fine to me but it just seems a little bit lower and like if you turn it around like on the uh, tripod and everything you'll hear this really weird sound I'll go ahead and give you an example right now So that right there, you know, you can see, it's just really annoying. I can move my iPad around all I want, and it's not going to do that. Um, but I guess it's just the uh, the mount and all that good stuff. And I can totally understand that from GoPro. I mean, the thing is, though, the audio adapter, the mic adapter, is $50. But on the old GoPros, there was a spot on the back where you could plug in the GoPro. But now they made it where you have to undo the whole side to get to the audio port then you have to buy a mic adapter to even get a 3 millimeter a 3.5 millimeter mic to put in there and me you know making trying to make good videos I have audio is a very big part of my videos and having to spend another $85 because the mic I'm looking at is $35 that's just that's that's crazy, and I, I don't plan on doing that, you know, in the near future. So, that's one thing that I really don't like about this, is that you have to buy, you have to buy a $50 mic adapter, and that, to me, is just a little bit crazy. Next up is definitely video quality. This camera can shoot at 4K 30 frames a second, and 1080p 120. This thing can even shoot slow motion 720p 240 frames a second and I'll have to get out and start playing around with this um, soon but video quality compared to the iPad is amazing so what you're seeing right now is being filmed on the GoPro Hero 5 and what you're seeing right now is being filmed on my iPad mini next is going to be usability and this is for me in person so if you're looking at buying a GoPro don't just take what I say and say, oh, that's that's exactly how it's going to be like. No, not necessarily. Me, I make fishing videos a lot, as some of you guys know. So, I'm rating this on how good I can use it. Now, I haven't gone fishing with this yet, so I'm not 100% sure how this is going to work. But, lugging around this iPad on a tripod is a huge pain. And I, I really... I re it's really not easy. I've had a few times in some of my fishing videos where I walk up to a group of fish just jumping right next to the shore and normally I could just throw in there and catch one but I have to stop, undo the tripod, put the iPad on the tripod, pull up the camera, start recording and by the time I get recording they're all gone so the iPad is just really hard to use for fishing videos like you guys do not know the struggle. I'm going to have to make a few I'm going to have to take a few bloopers from my old fishing videos and put them together for a video soon, but that's not the point. This thing right here is so small. I mean, I'm going to have a chest mount and everything for that, so I can put it on the chest mount easily. That's going to be fun and easier to use. So that usability on the GoPro, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 because you can literally do anything with this. you got a head mount. I mean, at least I do. I have a whole box full of accessories here. I mean, chest mount, head mount, car mount, um, 
sticky mount, everything. There's literally everything you can do with this camera. So usability is definitely a 10 out of 10. So overall, overall rating, this camera to me has to be one of the best cameras I've ever picked up and I definitely recommend you guys getting one if you ever plan on starting a fishing channel or already have a fishing channel and are disappointed with your video quality how hard it is to make videos all that good stuff definitely pick up this GoPro now I've never had experience with any GoPros before so this is just my opinion I would definitely get this because this is waterproof in the case and that's absolutely amazing but Definitely try and pick one of these up if you have the opportunity. So, recently, this is a, a totally different subject. Recently, um, one of my YouTube friends, um, I'm going to leave his link in the description. His name is Last Cast Bassing, and he makes some awesome videos. And he recently gave me a shout out on his YouTube channel and uh, put my put my channel link in his description so I definitely I just want to you know return the favor I want you guys to go check out his channel he makes some awesome videos some of them are a lot better than mine so I definitely recommend if you like my videos go check out his channel I'm leaving a link of his channel in the description below so with that being said until next time JH Miller Owen out see ya